Well, that raises the question of whether or not uh, this shared uh, dilemma, disaster, brought you and your daughters closer. Mm -hmm. I, I think without a doubt, it brought the girls and I closer together. Um, I, I have to give credit to them. Uh, they're uh, 32, uh, 31, and 29 now. And um, very early in the relationship, um, they did something that was really helpful, which was they metaphorically hit their dad over the head with a baseball bat. <laughs> How so? Well, uh, I remember we were at a, a family reunion and staying in a hotel. And, you know, this was early in Rebecca's journey. Um, and uh, I had felt as their father, um, and particularly I'm, I'm somewhat of a sort of controlling type A kind of guy, that I had to protect them from the reality of the pain of the ongoing journey and ultimately, you know, the, the loss of their mother. And so uh, I, I tried to take their burden in my backpack, so to speak. And uh, I remember we had a conversation in a hallway in, a, in an embassy suites hotel and, and the girls sort of sat me down in the hallway and they said, dad, you can't do this yourself. You know, uh, uh, we are as much a part of this journey as you are. Mm. And uh, it was really, it was a relationship changing moment for us. Uh, but it's really where, you know, my kids stopped being my kids and they, you know, they, uh, they became, they became equals uh, uh, in a sense of we all needed to share on the journey together. So mm -hmm. I'm very grateful to them for yeah, yeah. All that moment. Yeah. And I would think that this experience would also maybe deepen your sense of, of life, uh, deepen your connected, connectedness in a way to life, even as you struggle with faith, as you say, mm -hmm. and with trust. Um, still, there, I'm guessing it would put you in touch with something about the preciousness of life, and that this is part of the whole the whole journey. That you know, we all have to deal with these sorts of issues sooner or later. Yes, um, there, there's a, a, a quote that's attributed to Helen Keller um, that, uh, that says, the only way to the other side of pain is to walk through it rather than around it. And um, in the, the counseling part of what I do, I see so many people who are walking around the reality of the pain of the ongoing journey and then the reality of the eventual loss. In fact, I did a support group this morning and we've lost three, three individuals, uh, you know, partner spouses of, of people in our group in the last three months. And uh, the group members were saying, well, you know, you need to start a grief support group because we need the experience of, of sharing our grief even after we lose our loved one. But, but to, to get back to the question you asked, I think you do as a care partner, you undergo a tremendous tra personal transformation. And I think it's deferred by going around the pain. It's accelerated though difficult if you walk through the pain. And uh, I think when you ask that question, what came to mind more than any other one thing is that I became very aware of the sense of time and that there was a clock that started ticking. Now, of course, we knew that Rebecca's life expectancy would be, for somebody with early onset like her, on average five to seven years, maybe you know, uh, on the longer end, eight to 10 years. She lived nine years, almost nine years to the date of her diagnosis. Uh, and so there's always this sense of um, the clock ticking and, um, the feeling that when you take a break from caregiving, you feel guilty because you're not there. But sometimes in the midst of caregiving, you're going crazy because it's so hard. Mm. 